So today we're at the Urban Wood Network Wisconsin chapter sponsored event. It's Urban Wood Fest, it's our second annual. And uh, we have a whole host of vendors and other nonprofit and for-profit groups here today. The goal of the Urban Wood Fest is to try to spread the word of urban wood utilization. Folks don't often realize that the trees in their yard or in their parks or in their city in general have a value for, for timber and for furniture and things like that. So we are here today to try to make sure that folks get that, that word and, and understand that we are here to help them with that. So what happens in the in the urban wood community and small woodlot owners is that there is a there is a need for urban trees um, as a living thing in the environment. But there's also a point at which those trees need to come down. And what we want to do is is the urban wood network is connect with those homeowners, those landowners, and utilize that wood. Ideally, putting it back in the same environments where the tree grew. So the same owners, or if not them, someone nearby is looking for that that very wood. The benefits from utilization of urban wood, whether it's um, woodworking or in a structural sense for building materials, the benefit is most of these pieces, first of all, don't travel more than 50 miles. And second of all, that really is the local economy. So it really is staying close to home. The different types of trees available here um, are typically what a production sawmill wouldn't necessarily be buying. They're not necessarily all interested in walnut or ash or catalpa, any of those species, and the list goes on and on and on. So the diversity from the urban forest for woodworkers, for craftspeople, for artists is so vast and variable, and that is what draws those individuals to the lab here and within our organization statewide. Trees are an asset. They're, they're not a waste product, they're not a byproduct, they're not just a thing in the community, they are an asset to the community. And when they die, that asset doesn't go away. You can, you can turn these trees into living memorials, so to speak, at times, by building things, benches, tables, boardwalks, even just something as simple like trailer decking and sideboards for your pickup trucks. So one of those things that I really love myself is those stories. We know these trees, these are the trees that, that have memories connected with them. And that connection is one of those things that gets saved when you are able to convert that, that tree that needed to come down. And now it can actually be a legacy that lives on in your family, in your home, or in your business. So the easiest way to connect with the Urban Wood Network, the Wisconsin chapter, or the national chapter, is to visit the website, urbanwoodnetwork.org. And from there, you can navigate the other states out at West or specifically here in Wisconsin, you can navigate and find the memberships, whether they're Sawyer, kiln operators, or tree care companies.